the Bob Mills Weather Center. Meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, when Ice Cube made the song, today was a good day. Uh, he might have had today in mind. It was really nice outside. It was generally sunny. We had a south breeze. Temperatures well into the 70s, to even a few low 80s out there. 79 in Tulsa, 68 in Pierre, 93 out in Phoenix. That's pretty toasty, 82 in Orlando. So once again, we, you know, being here wasn't a whole lot different than being in Florida today. And that's okay in my books. I know, once again, there's a lot of, you know, maybe you like the winter weather out I'm not on that boat, I'm sorry. Uh, we do have high clouds streaming across the region, some activity going up along the uh, Canadian. Now, if you want winter, maybe go up towards Winnipeg. That might be the place to be some unsettled weather into the northwest as well. That's our next system, uh, by the way, that'll be arriving toward the middle of the week. In the meantime, this big ridge of high pressure and zonal flow is gonna keep us on the warm side of life. That's gonna run us all the way through Wednesday, but notice this trough uh, coming off the Pacific. Notice it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, access to really cold air, but it will cool us down. That's going to move through the front, at least, associated with that late Wednesday into Thursday. And then behind that, we'll get cooler weather, but notice the colder weather uh, it sticks up over the Midwest and the Great Lakes. We'll see basically temperatures going from way above normal to like where we should be this time of year uh, after that rolls on through. Rain chances right now in Tulsa don't look great. There's a chance, about a 20% chance, better chances will be off to the east and uh, after that not looking promising. So really not much opportunity for significant rain coming up. Notice this is the next seven days and this is basically Wednesday night to Thursday as uh, rain totals here in the Tulsa area pretty light but better as you go off towards Fayetteville, Fort Smith and down towards Idabel. That's kind of the area that looks like it's going to get in on the better rain. We'll be about 15 to 20 degrees above normal through Wednesday and then after that we'll see things cool off to just kind of right around where they should be this time of year. Beautiful looking shot here from Jinx. Uh, just a nice evening. 68 south breeze there at 11. Uh, dew point at 58, so that's going to lead to a warmer night tonight than we've been seeing. Temperatures all across the region still hanging out mostly in the 60s with just a few people having already dropped down into the 50s. We'll stay dry overnight, passing clouds here and there. South winds will be in the upper 50s to low 60s waking up tomorrow. And then we're basically going to rinse and repeat what we saw today. The only thing that's going to change is the, the south wind will be a little stronger. And the temperatures will be probably a couple of degrees warmer. Same story on Tuesday and then Wednesday that front rolls in. Uh, areas from Tulsa to the west likely topping out in the 70s before that moves through and then areas from Tulsa to the east probably making a run at the lower 80s once again. Then rain chances could arrive Wednesday night and Thursday but notice those better chances off to the east and behind this system upper 50s to low 60s which is basically par for the course for us this time of year and we'll keep that going as we roll on into the Friday time frame. So here's your extended forecast. Temperatures around or above 80 degrees through Wednesday for most of us. That front arrives sometime Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday night. Then behind that we'll see temperatures uh, drop down to more kind of seasonable realms. Uh, we'll see that slight rain chance with the better rain chances being off to the east and southeast. And all in all, pretty good forecast going forward next weekend right now looks a-okay. That is your forecast.